Hi, Robbie here from Arsenal Fan TV. Time to preview the game, Arsenal versus Newcastle United. Um, you know what? I thought what I'd do for this is let's speak to a Newcastle fan. He can give us a lowdown on what to expect at Newcastle. So for this video, I linked up with Matty from the Magpie channel, and here he is to tell us what to expect from Newcastle. Matty here from the Magpie channel. Quick Arsenal preview. Uh, just let you know what you can expect from us on fire. At the minute, that's what you can expect. Clean sheets in abundance. You know, Dubravko came in in January. He's been a rock at the back. All started with his debut against Manu on Sky. He's carried on from there. It's three successive clean sheets at home. We're grinding out 1-0. You know, we're, we're not really keeping possession. We're not that type of side. That's why I think against Leicester last week away from home, it suits us because that's our counter-attacking style of play. Um, at, we're solid at the back, though. Since the Celsius came back into the team, keep him fully fit. He's an absolute boss at the heart of our defence. You know, his communication skills, it's spreading off onto Lejeune. There's some are saying who's starting to come good. Local lad, uh, Dummett at left back, he's solid enough. And then you've got Lee Edlin on the, on the right hand side at right back, the former Spurs player, offering um, width and pace. We'll keep it tight. And unlike that's halfway during the season when we're struggling to win games, we're never really getting hammered because Benitez makes it hard to beat. But we weren't taking our chances. However, now, you know, players are chipping in with goals because we haven't got that striker. We bought Samani, we didn't buy him, we loaned him in January. He's only made one appearance. Uh, he might be the only change to the side on Sunday. Otherwise, I think it'll be the same 11 that's played the last three or four games, really. Uh, he'd probably come off the bench again. We didn't bring in a striker that we we're, that were craved for in January. Bought Slomani on loan, who hasn't had a sniff in yet. But Gale, he's not... Premier League quality, he's not a finisher, but he is causing defences problems and teams problems with his runs and creating that space. But ah, it's the other players, it's the likes of Shelby and Matt Ritchie, who are chipping in with goals, and Kennedy, who's been an outstanding signing from Chelsea on loan. Hopefully we'll make him permanent, but apparently there's attention from all over Europe now, Bayern Munich linked with him. He's one to watch. Um, in Perez as well, who I've been a big critic of, he's been in the number 10 role and he's chipped in with some vital goals lately, so... Is, can expect us to sit back, let you probably have the ball, but we will be on it. We'll be all over you like a rash. The army in the middle of the park has been complimenting Shelby. It's he's the one who just gets stuck in there, and uh, Shelby's the one who then feeds the ball out, out away or looks for that defence split and pass down the middle. Um, he'll obviously be, John Joe Shelby will be obviously looking to put in a star role against Arsenal with the sky cameras there, maybe Southgate watching. Time's ticking now for those tickets to Russia, so he'll be wanting to get on the plane there. Um, and I, I fancy, we're, honestly, I do. I fancy a user just came back from Russia. Tricky, a weird tie that you just did well to scrape it back because we've seen during the week how awkward those second legs can be when you've got a couple of goal advantages. So you just did well there at 2-0. It was looking like another goal and you were out kind of thing or extra time. So he's done well to get, get through that. He's will be tired. He's just came back. There's only two days. I, I've never... Agree with that in a way, you know, it's harder, especially when you're traveling some, somewhere like that. You've only got a day's training, like you haven't had enough time to look at us, prepare for us, train for us, get up here. So that's why I fancy we're just because our run of form, you know, we've only lost since the start of January to Man City and Liverpool in the league. So, you know, I was looking at the form table the other day, we are fifth since the turn of the year, 19 points. That's huge. Um, so taking that into account, I know you are on form at the minute, he's had a few wins in a row as well, but your defence looks looks dodgy, looks suspect for me. I was watching the game against Southampton last week, Mustafi, he had a shock out with Shane Long's opener, Czech, looks like he's ready to hang up his helmet and retire, he's too old, he's past it now. So I think we can cause his problems, seeing that use going forward or a threat massively. Ozil, we've seen what he'd done at the Emirates in December when I was there. You've got a Bemi Yang now, who we were linked with for a while. Uh, obviously, we're not going to cough up the funds for him. Before he really took off, that is. This was like two, three years ago. He even played up here in the Olympics. I've seen him play. He's a world-class player. You know, you've got Lacazette. Even Welbeck, who's coming into form now. He's trying to get his plane to Russia, which I'm sure Southgate Williams is a big fan of his. So, I'll say there could be goals. Us at home lately with the Braff and ourselves, we've kept it tight. I'm going to go for the 2 to make a 2-1 win. I look forward to seeing you up here. Remember to subscribe. Check out the Magpie channel on YouTube. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.
So you've heard there from Matty, um, he's confident that Newcastle are going to get the job done. Um, but what to expect from Arsenal? Well, first of all, what sort of Arsenal team is going to be playing on the day? Um, as Matty quite rightly pointed out there, we've had to travel back from Russia where we had a really difficult game. And I don't expect to see guys like maybe Jack Wilshire. I don't think he'll be playing. Um, will Lacazette be risked? You know, we know that he's only just coming back from injury. Koscielny, of course, we know that he's a bit brutal. And we've got more important games now because, you know, of course, we've got the semi-final of the, um, you know, the Europa League, which is going to feature Atletico Madrid. It's going to be a really tough, tough game. So even guys like Danny Welbeck, there's some great form. Do you risk him in a game like this where he could be a bit fatigued? I'd love to see him play, but I think it's going to be all on that. What sort of team are Arsenal going to put out? It's going to be a very difficult game. We've got a terrible record on the road in the Premier League this season. Um, but, as Matty also pointed out, we've been on a decent run recently, um, albeit most of those games have been at home. So, I kind of think that it's a sort of game that, you know, I, I, it's so hard to call. Will Aaron Ramsey play? We saw that big gash that he had on his leg. Will he be risked? You know, maybe Xhaka should be able to come back in. He'll be fit. But you know what? We've got Aubameyang up front. Aubameyang's on a bit of form at the moment. If we can keep the defence solid enough, I can see the game being a draw. I'm not sure if we're going to get the win in this game. Only really because, as I said, well, two things. The appalling away record, but also that trip to Russia. How much has that taken out of Arsenal? Well, that's what we're going to find out. Um, I think on the day, if we're really on it, we can win the game. Uh, Newcastle will know that if they win the game tomorrow, they're more or less safe. They know that over the years, they've always given us a tough game at St. James's Park. So it's going to be a tough one for Arsenal. It's going to be a real tough game. It's, you know, it's as tough as it gets, really, coming back from a long trip from Russia. And to get up there for me, probably quicker to get to Russia on the flight than it is to drive all the way to Newcastle. So it's going to be a really tough game. If Arsenal win, and I'd love to see us win and keep that momentum going, it'd be fantastic. But even if they took a draw out of the game, wouldn't be at the end of the world, considering that in the league, we've got no chance of getting into that fourth place. So more important games to come for Arsenal, but it's important in keeping the momentum going. And I fancy the game will probably end up being a draw. But if Arsenal are on it, if Welbit plays, Aubameyang plays, who knows? Maybe we could cause a lot of problems to that Newcastle defence. What do you guys think? What team do you think we should play? I'd really love to hear from you guys. Leave it in the comments below. But looking forward to the game. Arsenal travelling up to St James's Park to take on Newcastle. And we'll be linking up with Matty um, from the Magpie channel after the game um, to see what their guys have to think about it as well. And don't forget to check out their channel. Um, the link's in the description below. But looking forward to the game. Arsenal versus Newcastle.